Hey guys, RTT back here for another video, guys. Today, we're on GameStop.com. And why are we on GameStop.com, guys? Because GameStop are now selling the RTX 3090 on their website. I'm not sure if they're selling the 3082. Let me see. Uh, it looks like they're selling 39 and they're selling 3082, guys. They are selling the 3000 series on their website. This is honestly crazy. <laughs> with all the crazy stuff that's happened with GameStop over the last couple months, uh, into the last year, and now they're selling PC parts. They went from, literally, you guys can see right here, consoles and hardware. Now, to be honest, let me be honest here. It, it all makes sense, okay? It, it makes sense they sell PC parts because, I mean, they're GameStop. They're for gaming, right? And if you sell consoles, why not sell PCs too? It made sense in the beginning. They never ever took advantage or capitalized off this market of possibly going ahead and doing this exact thing where they sell PC parts. But yeah, now they are. Now this all out of stock. Everything is out of stock because you know, prices of everything is crazy. Everything is out of stock, period. And it will be forever, it feels like. But this just begs the question what has this world come to? We are actually seeing now GameStop becoming really really a big player in gaming again something where we saw you know GameStop fall off the face of the earth when they went ahead and you know digital became a thing digital consoles digitally downloading everything and disc were no longer a thing and then they went ahead and saw selling cell phones they were like hey let's sell some cell phones that was a failure their company was down to plummet and then reddit went ahead and took that company brought it back up to the top made it a very successful company now and now they're using that success to go ahead and sell 30 90s 3080s so what does the future for gamestop what does this look like? Well, first off, I think this is really good for GameStop. I think, first off, this is going to increase their sales, increase their production. And this is only the beginning, in my opinion. Because now that they're more successful after the whole Reddit thing, I think this can go ahead and propel them into more than just being known for a used, kind of like a used car salesman, a used game dealer. Now they can use actually for you know selling pc parts get into the pc industry start being a kind of like a new egg but for gamestop now gamestop has some reputation in the past i'm not, not with me personally but i've heard some horror stories of people getting you know stuff bought from gamestop and it's broken or it's messed up now again i can't say this all allegations i don't know if that's actually you know they messed it up themselves it broke it gamestop's at liable or fault but this has happened in the past where people have said that so is this going to be the same concept with PC parts? Are there, you know, um, I want to say there uh, control. I can't think of the, the terminology I want to use here. Are there um, quality control going to be good? Are they going to be able to monitor stuff and make sure that stuff like that does not happen? Honestly, I think definitely will, especially with everything going up. Now, I forget who it was. The guy from Nintendo. He is now the CEO of GameStop. So... Again, like I said, GameStop is really, really doing good, guys. Okay, GameStop was doing really bad. If I made this video back in 2019 and say GameStop was doing good, you would laugh in my face, right? You'd be like, what are you talking about? Are you an idiot? GameStop doing good. GameStop is awful. Now, GameStop is doing really, really good. They got the CEO from, they got the guy from Nintendo as a CEO. They went ahead and bought in some other people who are successful, and they're really building this brand. And this is just step one of building this brand, is by going ahead and getting to the PC market. Now, this, again, like I said, because it's just a step, this could be something else. They could go ahead and get into other markets. Now, of course, they already sell their own fun Funko Pops, whatever it's called. And you guys see toys and collectibles. Like, they sell other things. And they have, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to fanboy in GameStop any stretch of the imagination. And no, I do not have stock in GameStop. But this is going to be something that I'm interested in going forward. Now, can they get stock, though? That's the question. Can they go ahead and actually get these items to the customers? And yes, they literally sell all of them, guys. Do they sell any AMD? They sell a computer. Okay, so they don't sell. I don't. I don't. I don't know if they sell the CPUs. Uh, see. Uh, yeah, I don't think they sell the CPUs, but they definitely sell the computers. That's interesting. Okay, so like I said, this is kind of like a. They're kind of like going from we're best. Well, not well. Sorry, we're GameStop to we're Best Buy. We're pretty much everything. <laughs> they're a new egg. They are literally the new new egg. So. This is, 
I don't know, guys. Tell me down below thoughts and opinions of this. Are you excited about this? Are you excited that GameStop now is becoming a player in this where they can sell consoles, they can sell, you know, hot PC hardware, Funko Pops, toys, collectibles, and they still sell used games. So they still sell the whole entire nine yards. I'm not sure if they're going to keep on selling used games, though, because of the whole fact that now people don't go to stores as much anymore. I wonder if they're going to stop selling used games and just sell new games because it's no point to sell used games anymore. The whole platform of we're the used co uh, the used um game seller, not it anymore. Like. You now you guys are the everything and I think they should really run with this idea But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like subscribe button down below. See you guys in the next one. Peace out